Hey guys, so I just want to give you an update on my Delta Robot project. So I just finished assembling the power distribution board and wiring up all the power supplies. So for each one of these large stepper motors, they each get a power supply and motor driver. And so this is a dual rail 12 volt and 5 volt power supply. And that's for the vacuum pump, the solenoid, the LED ring, the pixie cam, the camera, and the microcontroller. And if you've seen some of my earlier videos on this project, you've seen the pixie cam that I'm gonna be using for detecting the object location and color of you know different objects that are placed on the work surface. And for the microcontroller, I'm using an M5 stack, and it's an ESP32 based product that has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, an SD card, a speaker, but you know, the main reason I chose it was because of this display and the buttons. This is what it looks like on the inside here. So for the cable harnesses, I'm using a flexible cable sleeve material that comes in different colors and it expands around connectors and solder joints. And I'm using these these clamps that are, if you're familiar with cable glands, they kind of work the same way. Where, let's see, get a better shot here. They, you know, when you tighten this collar down, they clamp the cable. And I use these in a few different areas, like the stepper motors. I took the rubber grommets out and then put those connectors in and a few other places as well. It just kind of looks, looks good in my opinion and it supports the cable so for routing the cables i'm using a few different types of press-in hardware and you've seen some of the other videos where i actually was inserting them with a the hydraulic press but you know this one here it's closed and it's usually used for cable ties and this one is right here is just a hook and instead of regular cable ties, I'm using these stainless steel cable ties that they're usually used for high heat applications, but I just like them. So, and I'm using these uh, just basic cable clamps that you can open and close with a strong double-sided tape. So the, for the, in the cable sleeves, like for example, the Stepper motors have four wires, and I think that just looks a lot nicer than four wires just kind of hanging down. And here, this is actually the vacuum hose and the wiring for the LED ring light. For the back plate, I was originally going to make a back plate and a base plate, but I ended up making it out of one piece and just bending it. And I think that just looks a lot nicer and is more, you know, it's more stable. So I also added casters at the bottom because this machine is getting like very heavy with the motors and all the power supplies. And this is just like a little fused power switch with a universal plug for routing the power. And I need to make a 30 wire cable harness that goes from here all the way down to all the drivers and the power supplies. So that's going to take a little while. And after I'm done with, you know, all the testing, I'll put the, the work table back on. And originally I was going to put a sheet metal wrap around the bottom portion, but now I kind of want to show off all the wires. So, you know, leave, leave a comment below. What do you think? Would a sheet metal wrap look better or, maybe an acrylic wrap with some LEDs in there. So I, I get a lot of questions about, you know, what this machine is for, like what, what's the purpose of this machine? And honestly, I just wanted to learn about machine vision. I don't really have a need for this machine. I just wanted to learn how to use, interface the camera with a robot. So, and I've always been fascinated with Delta robots. So it'll just be a kind of cool learning experience and, I'll share all the code and everything when I'm done. In the beginning, I'm gonna just 
have it like pick up and sort different colored marbles and put them in like a bin and then you know knock the bins over and repeat but later down the road it would be nice if I change this hand you know I add a wrist to it so it can rotate parts because right now I can't rotate I can just pick up parts and drop them but that'll you know take a while I still I need to do all the programming uh, I've, I've made a you know a user interface for this already I've added like a menu and a couple different you know modes and so I'll be using this with a phone or just have it where you know like a demo mode where you know I just press the button and it goes you know on repeat okay guys I hope you liked the video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time